Good morning. Today we're going to investigate back testing. So we're going to start by making sure everything is in order. Open your PowerShell. Make sure Docker Desktop is running with no containers. Type in docker compose up. Containers are created. Config files are read. And pair lists are obtained. Everything is working. Let's also open a browser. Go to localhost. Colon 8080. This is because I'm not logged in. If I was, it would remember. I'm going to log in. That was one bot. That was the second bot. And this was the third bot. They all seem to be running. And the pair lists are beginning to be populated. Let's turn this off. Control C. Docker compose down. And that removes the containers. So we are ready to do back testing. We have to edit our config files and our strategies. Let's open VS Code. Open our Freak Trade folder. We've got our strategies with three strategies and three config files. I'm also going to open my notes. If you are following the manual, you can jump straight in to typing in the instruction download data with a tremendous amount of switches. Personally, I prefer to make all the changes in the config file and then reference the config file in the download data. This is because I often have many robots running at the same time and I want to compare in real time the live version what the what different changes make. So let's go over to our config file. The first thing you will learn is that backtesting only works with static pair lists. So we cannot use volume pair lists. So let's change method from volume pair lists to static pair lists. which makes these following values unnecessary. The static pair list we will define in here in the whitelist. I would suggest that you go to your favorite exchange, sort the list by volume. Personally, I prefer by market capital because I only want the pairs that have very low chance of disappearing or becoming popular, unpopular. 
So I'm going to include Bitcoin. It seems fairly standard to compare everything to USDT these days, the US dollar token. Um, let's get, say, Ethereum. And a random one, EGLD against USDT. Next, I'm going to reorder this file because there's a few things that I change regularly. So I am going to put them at the top. The API server. I'm going to put that near the top. The exchange information, because I keep fiddling with the pair lists. Again, I remind you to be very careful with spacing. Python gets upset if you indent incorrectly. The bot name, sometimes it's not the same as the file name. I notice that I just made a mistake with the copying. Oh, that's worked out. Now, other settings that we will be fiddling with. Maximum number of trades. That changes quite regularly for me. Dry run and dry run wallet. going to move that near the top and I'm going to add one more setting which will come in handy later when you turn dry run to false and actually run this on a production server and that's available underscore capital this is how much money you want your robot to use it's the same as dry run wallet, but this is only for dry run, this is for production. Don't forget the comma. And that is the config file done. Now let's go over to our strategy and make a couple of changes here. First I'm going to remove some of the comments. And here in the sample strategy class, I'm going to add a couple of instructions. First one is max open trades. Take note, it's slightly different grammar. Instead of colon number, it is an equal sign. Single quotes. All these settings are explained in the manual. Yep, time frame's already there. Okay, that's enough for now. Now let's actually download some data. So call up your PowerShell and type in docker compose run with the switch remove container once we're finished. We need the name of the service. Our first service in our docker compose is freak trade. Doesn't really matter which one you use. 
the instruction, download data, let's put a time range, 2024-02-01, to the 1st of March, or shall I just leave it open and get it up to today? I think I'll leave it open. Time frame, if I get the five minutes and some others, we can back test without having to waste time getting more data. Press enter. The container is formed. The config file is read. That's where the pair list comes from. And in this case, it will get the one minute, five minute, sorry, the five minute, 50 minute, and the hour data for the last 30-ish days. All done. Now we can actually run a backtest. So docker compose run, remove container when we're done. Call up the image service instruction. At this time it is backtesting. We have to specify the dates, time range 2024-02-01. I'm just going to do it for the month, so 2024-03-01. Let's specify the strategy. In our case, it, the name of the strategy is Sample Strategy. The config file is simply called config. So let's include the reference to the config file. This one is one folder deep, so you need to specify user data, config. with the file extension. A couple of other switches that I set. Export equals none and cache equals none. This will make... This is just to simplify. You can read the manual and investigate if you want those settings or not. And just to make sure, time frame 5 minutes. And of course, it helps if we don't make typos. So the container is created. The config file is read. The strategy is read. And the backtesting is done. And here we have the summary. At the bottom, we can see there were 50 entries with an average profit of 3 quarters of 1% which is a total profit of 135 USD from the initial 1,000 we put in. With more detailed information if you scroll up. Next I'm going to compare my three strategies in a back test. I'm going to start by making the same changes to the other two robots. I'm going to edit the config files, and I'm going to edit the strategy files, just as I did before. I'm simply going to copy everything from here. And overwrite everything in here. Bot name is strat2. Also with the other config file, control A, control V. Let's go to the top. This one was called MACD. For the strategy, 
I only need to double check max trades and time frame. This strategy has a time frame listed. Now we can return to our PowerShell and let's type in the instructions to do a comparison of all three. So again, Docker Compose run, remove container when we're done, just one of the services. We are back testing with the time range 2024.02.01 to 2024.03.01. This time, instead of strategy, we're going to write strategy list. And we're going to list the three strategies that we're going to compare. Strategy, MACD strategy, and strategy 002. Time frame equals five minutes. Mac open trades I'm going to set to 6 and again the last two export none and cash none let's run this see what happens Rather coolly, we have our three strategies and what happened over the entire month. So from the 1st of February to the 1st of March, we have a comparison of how much profit each strategy made. If I scroll up, we can see useful information, best pair, worst pair, which coins were bought and how much profit was made. And then we see the same again for the other individual strategies. Remember that the you know, commands that you specify here overwrite anything in your config or strategy. I will just finish off by pointing out an important note. If you are using a single strategy, you can specify the config file. So you can have different settings in your config files. If you're going to do the comparison with strategy list, then the only config file you can use is the default config. I hope that gives you enough to start experimenting with back testing. Have a good day.